Hey guys, Cody here at Dothan Nurseries, and we're having another beautiful sweaty day in southeast Alabama. Uh, today we're gonna, I'm going to show you this bug eater plant, carnivorous plant, but this one's a little bigger. He can like eat mice, small birds, like he's, he's a big boy. Those are the pictures. Huge, and they get bigger. They get up to 12 inches in length. Some even a little larger. Um, a super, super amazing plant, um, and decently easy if you follow some simple steps. You really want to uh, keep it moist, and never want to fully dry out. And you just don't want to fertilize. Those are the first two main ones. The reason you don't want to fertilize is just because it's so sensitive. It really wants to get the majority of its nutrients from the sun. Um, and also from insects that'll catch in, small mice, birds. If you're, if it's that crazy at your house uh, but typically it's just small insects um, so that being said you really really want to keep it in a really well lit area right in a windowsill right in direct light bright direct light even if it's inside or if you want to put it on your porch you want to uh, um, morning sun afternoon shade just because it's greenhouse grown so you don't want it to burn yeah uh, and probably water every day outside. If you were to put them uh, inside, you could get away with like every week, give it a really good soak. Um, outside, just about every day, because it's so hot here. Bring it in for the winter, so it won't survive a winter outside. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, it's an amazing, amazing house plant. Just a wonderful conversational piece. Just look at those pictures. Who doesn't want that? Thanks guys, see you later.